What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have Pillar. Yes, indeed, how about that? Pillar making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the dibbity boobity bop, do me a favor before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Chris Fields, and Chris want to see me react to this. It is Pillar doing a cover of one of my favorite U2 songs, Sunday Bloody Sunday. Now, have I heard the song before? Uh, full disclosure, yes, yes I have. As, I, as I've already said, this is actually one of my favorite songs from U2. I love this song. Um, it's a very well-constructed song, uh, one of my favorites. So, uh, have I heard the song before? Yes, I absolutely have. The original. Now, keep in mind, this is a cover. This is a cover by Pillar. Now, I have no idea what Pillar is going to do with this. They may do a carbon copy cover where they make it sound exactly like the original. Beat for beat, note for note, word for word, tone for tone, just like the original. Or they may put their own personal flavor on it. They may put their own spin on it. Personally, that's what I hope they do. I, I really do. I, I really hope they kind of take it in a little bit of a different direction and see what happens, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and find out, I guess. But full disclosure, full transparency, yes, I have heard the original song before. Therefore, I will not be taking the song itself, the original song, into account here in any way, shape, or form. I will only be reacting to, evaluating, and scoring what Pillar does with the song. Is it a carbon copy cover, or do they put their own spin on it? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Now, we did have some problems with this reaction video. Um, the original link that Chris gave me was blocked. Block! Block! Yeah, it was blocked not by the record label, not by the artist. It was blocked by Paramount Pictures because apparently the video that the original uploader uh, made used video footage from the movie Saving Private Ryan, and Paramount wasn't too thrilled with that. So they put the kibosh on it and they blocked it. So thanks, Paramount. So I had to make a judgment call here. So I, I just searched Pillar, Sunday Bloody Sunday, YouTube cover, and there were a few videos that popped up. This was one of the ones that had the most views. So I'm gonna go on a limb and I'm gonna say this is safe to use. Plus it didn't come off the, the artist's official page. So uh, this was the video I found was posted by Avery, uh, yeah, Avrico, A-V-R-Y-C-O, Avrico, sure, why not? And the video has 228,000 views, it'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Pillar, Sunday, Bloody Sunday. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Interesting. Yeah. 
like that halftime. I like that halftime feel. I really do. I think that's very, very appropriate. Um, yeah, I'm digging this. I'm digging this. They are putting their own feel on it. They are putting their own spin on it. But they are also being respectful of the original. So I, I like this. I really do. This is, this is feeling good. So let's, let's keep it going. Yeah, man, I, <laughs> I have no complaints about this at all. None. And then here's, here's the thing. I, I have a feeling most people are going to be fine with this. There are going to be those couple, there are those few YouTube purists who are going to be like, you know, if it's not YouTube, then it, it you know, it, it's, it's irrelevant. Or, uh, you know, how dare they? How dare they take their favorite YouTube song and disgrace it like this guys i don't know why people think that way i really don't i don't hear anything bad i don't, I don't think they're insulting you too i don't think they're disgracing you too i think they're just taking a u2 song a very well-known u2 song some would say infamous u2 song and they're putting their own little spin on it paying homage paying respect to u2 because let's be honest folks are they putting their own spin on it? Yes, they are, but they're not taking it so far out in the left field that it's unrecognizable. Trust me, I have heard some covers that you just do not recognize. And I, I have sat there and gone, is this really a cover or is this an original? It sounds nothing like the original. This does. They're absolutely paying respect and being respectful to the original. I feel they are. I don't know about everybody else, but I know I, I have no issue with this. And, and like I said, this is one of my favorite YouTube songs. And I'm digging this cover. I really am. Uh, vocals sound good. Uh, the guitar sounds really good. The bass sounds good. Uh, the drums sound good. I mean, I, I'm digging everything. I If I'm being honest, I think the vocals are probably the weakest link in the chain, but... Uh, that's not to say that they're bad. They're they're good. They're they're, they're very solid, um, and they're and they're doing some little tweaks here and there that I personally kind of wish you two had done. Like that halftime feel. I kind of wish you two had gone into a halftime right there after hearing it here. I was trying to picture in my head. What if you two had done that? What if you two had put a halftime feel on that part? And I'm like, that probably would have sounded even better. It would have made that section even more impactful, which is exactly what Pillar did. So, 
I got no problem with it. I got no issue with it. And I'm thoroughly enjoying this. And this is coming from a guy who actually likes the original. So, I don't know what to tell those purists, man. I, I don't know. Anyway, let's finish this out and we'll get to the review. There you go. I liked it. I'm sorry. I, I know there's going to be people who disagree with me, and that's fine. They're more than welcome to disagree with me, but I dug it. I enjoyed it. Um, There really is not a lot to talk about. I've already talked about pretty much everything I need to say. So this is probably going to be a short review. But uh, let me get my thoughts together. Just be on the safe side. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Pillar with a cover of the U2 song, Sunday Bloody Sunday. This was a request from Chris Fields. Okay. Um, there really isn't a whole lot to talk about because I've already said everything I needed to say during the reaction. So I'm just going to hit a couple of bullet points, bing, bop, boop, and uh, we're going to make this a short day, probably. On a scale of 1 to 10... I'm gonna give that an 8.2. Yep, 8.2. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? They did exactly what I was hoping they were gonna do. They, they took the song and they put their own little feel on it. They put their own sound on it. They put their own little spin on it. And I like that. I really do. I. Those are the kind of covers that I actually prefer. But at the same time, they didn't stray too far from the original. Well, I mean, the original, it was recognizable, like, from the get-go. I mean, even if I hadn't known, like, if I had gone to this completely blind and I had no idea that this was going to be a cover, if I had had just had headphones on, uh, if I had had blinders on, and somebody came in and pushed the play button, I would have recognized it within the first two seconds. I mean, it, it's... This is one of those songs that are, I, I would dare say, is iconic. Uh, you, you hear it, you hear that drum pattern kick in, and you know immediately, before hearing the guitars, before you hear it before hearing the vocals, before hearing anything else, you hear those drums come in, and you recognize that song, if you've ever heard it before. Um, I think Pillar did a great job covering this. I, I think they were very original in their vision of how they were going to do the song. They executed it well and they stayed respectful of the original. I have no issue with that whatsoever. I know there are gonna be YouTube purists out there who are gonna, you know, cry blasphemy and stuff like that. And listen, everyone's entitled to their opinion, obviously. I, I'm sorry. I respectfully disagree. This is one of my favorite songs from YouTube. And I, I gotta say, I think they did an exceptional job covering the song. I think that they were respectful to the original. I don't think they took it so far in left field that it was unrecognizable, and I, I don't I don't see the problem. I really don't. But I know there are going to be people that do, and like I said, they are welcome to their, to their opinions. They absolutely are, but I am not one of those people. Um, if I'm being honest, I think the vocals were probably the weakest part, if I'm being honest here. Uh, Bono's vocals on this song, I'm sorry. I just don't ever see anybody topping them. I really don't. But uh, he did a good job. He, he did a solid job. I'm, I'm not saying his vocals sounded bad. I'm just saying out of all of the parts of the song, I think his vocals were the weakest. Um, the guitars, strongest, man. I, man, the guitar on this was fantastic. Thick, crunchy tone, not muddy. Um, knowing when to get the chunks going and when to get the sustains going, very tastefully done. 
Bass sounded good. Um, I had a little trouble finding it in the mix, if I'm being honest, but once I found it, I was able to lock into it and it sounded good. I also really enjoyed the drums, the drums and the guitars, which oddly enough is kind of what did it for me in the original too, but the drums and the guitars in this are were definitely the strong points. Uh, the drumming was absolutely solid. I I really dug what he was doing. That when they would go into that halftime field, that was my favorite part. When when they did that, they did that like three times. When they went to that halftime feel, and man, I was sitting there listening to it. And on the third time, I tried to imagine if it was U2 doing it. What if what if U2 had done that halftime? And I think, to be honest with you, I think I would have loved the song even more from the original if they had gone to a halftime feel there. I think that would have made that section more impactful and more memorable. Um, no, I, I think Pillar did a great job on this cover. They really did. They knocked it out of the park. Now, having said that, people will often ask me, which do I prefer, the original or the cover? I really enjoyed this cover, guys. I did, but if I'm being honest, I still like the original. I do. I, I, listen, that is not taking anything away from this cover, okay? We, we've, I mean, I, I say we. I don't know why I'm saying we. I thoroughly enjoyed this cover. I really did. I had a great time with it. I had a great time listening to it, and I will absolutely listen to it again. But I just, there's just something about the original, man. There is. Uh, I, I I still prefer the original. I do. So, I mean, it, it's not, like I said, though, it's not a slide against, Pol against Pillar. I think they did an outstanding job. So, and that's why I'm giving them the great score of 8.2. So, 8.2, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope that I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job. And I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.